ಶಿಷ್ಯಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯಮಸ್ತಮಲಕಂಚಿಷ್ಯಂ ತಂತೋಟಕ ಪರಿಜ್ಞಾತೋದನಾಧಕರ್ಮಚೋದನಾಧಕರ್ಮಚೋದನ ಕರ್ಮಕರ್ತೆರ್ ಥ್ರೀ ಕರ್ಮಚೋದನಾಸ್ ನೇಮ್ಲಿ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಜ್ಞೇಯ ಆಂಡ್ ಪರಿಜ್ಞಾತ and three karma sangrah karana kar, sorry karanam karma and karta let's look into bhashya atha idanim atha idanim tesham karmanam pravartakam ucchate ಅಥ ಇೋ ಅಥ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಆನಂತರ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸಿಂಗ್ ದ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರಾರ್ಥ ಉಪಸಂಹಾರ ದ ಕನ್ಕ್ಲೂಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸಿಪಲ್ ವಿಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಇದಾನಿ ನೌ ತಾಂ ಕರ್ಮಣ ಪ್ರವರ್ತಕ ಉಚ್ಯತೆ ದ ಪ್ರವರ್ತಕ ಚೋದನ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರವರ್ತಕ ದ ಇಂಪೆಲ್ಲರ್ that which impels one to do karma the fact is that impel one to do karma uchchate is being told in the first half of the shloka jnanam jnayate anena iti sarva vishaya sarva vishayam ಅವಿಶೇಷೇಣ ಉಚ್ಯತೆ ತೇಯ ಜ್ಞಾತವ್ಯ ತದಿ ಸಾಮಾನ್ಯನ ಉಚ್ಯತೆ ತ ಪರಿಜ್ಞಾತ ಉಪಾಧಿ ಲಕ್ಷಣ ಅವಿದ್ಯಾಕಲ್ಪಿತ ಭೋಕ್ತಿತ್ರಿಶೇಷೇಣ 
सर्वकर्मण प्रवर्ति ज्ञान भाष्यकार गिव्स द डेरिवेशन ऑफ ज्ञान ज्ञायते अनेन इति ज्ञान ज्ञायते अनेन करणव्युत्पत्ति बाय मींस ऑफ व्हिच वन नोस इज कॉल्ड ज्ञान हियर द व्याख्यानकार explains that this refers to vritti jnana because we know things through vritti through a modification in the antahkaran sarva vishayam jnana here what jnana is mentioned not a specific jnana not a specific vritti but avisheshena without any specification sarva vishayam sarvam sarvah vishayah yasya tat sarva vishaya of any object jnana of any object the vritti with respect to any object it can be ghatakara vritti it can be patakara vritti it can be pustakakara vritti any vritti jnana all vritti jnana are included therefore avisheshena without any specification means a general in general sarva vishayam knowledge of any object is stated tatha jneyam likewise jneya jneyam is equal to jnatavyam the object of knowledge tadapi samanyena eva sarvam ukchyate even jneya also means any jneya sarvam jneya means any jneya samanye in general not a specific jneya earlier we have seen jnaya jnayam yatta pravakshyami yajnatva amrita masnute anadimat param brahma asattanna saduchyate where in chapter 13 this is not that jnana neither that jnana should be taken nor that jnaya should be taken here their jnana refer to jnana sadhan that is amanitvam etc whereas jnaya referred to brahman whereas here it is not so here any jnaya in general any object of knowledge in general is called jnaya tatha parijnata and also parijnata the knower who is the knower upadhi lakshana qualified by upadhi the atma qualified by upadhi means the upahita atma atma vitta upadhi is the parijnata 
in fact pure atma shuddha atma does not become jnata because when you say jnata there has to be the process of knowledge a modification has to be there in the form of vritti in the shuddha atma there is no vritti therefore shuddha atma does not become jnata then what else becomes a jnata das the buddhi become jnata das the antah karana become jnata because the vritti takes place in the antah karana can that be called jnata in reality even the antah karana cannot be called jnata because antah karana is jada being a jada antah karana cannot become the knower therefore neither atma can be called jnata nor antah karana can be called jnata. therefore in reality there is nothing called jnata therefore bhashyakara says jnata is avidya kalpitaha the very idea of knower is on account of avidya avidya kalpitah it is superimposed by avidya on account of avidya the atma and the antah karan the upadhi they are mixed up and that is when the atma appears to be jnana. there is no real jnata there is no real knower there is a real consciousness chaitanya is there but chaitanya cannot be called knower the er cannot be applied to chaitanya because it has no modification therefore avidya kalpitah upadhi lakshanah atma parijnata and this parijnata is the bhokta he is the enjoyer because he enjoys the result pleasure and pain iti etatrayam these three esham sarva karmanam avisheshena pravartika these three are the pravartika chodana is equal to pravartika karma chodana bhashyakara is explaining karma chodana so karma karmana karma refers to all actions esham sarva karmana all these actions which people do avisheshan without any specification means in general pravartika it is the impeller chodana means pravartika trividha is equal to triprakara they are three types three fold 
थ्री फोर कर्म कर्म सॉरी ज्ञानम ज्ञेयम एंड सन्निपाते आनोपादानादी आनोपादानादी प्रयोजन सर्वकर्मारंभ वांगमन कायाश्रय भेदेन वांगमन कायाश्रय भेदेन सन्निपाते सो वै दी थ्री आर कर्म चोदना वै दी थ्री आर मेन as the impellers of all karmas bhashyakara explains he he means because jnanadinam trayanam sannipate when jnana etc these three come together when they are sannipata sannipata means coming together when they three assemble together meet together then sarva karma arambhasyat any karma happens any karma occurs when these three come together means they lead to karma they initiate karma sarva karma arambha the initiation of any karma takes place and what is the prayojana of any karma thano padana adi prayojana the karmas generally have two prayojanas some karmas are meant for hana giving up getting rid of certain things and certain other karmas are done for upadana accepting something getting some receiving something so hana and upadana are the two major purposes of any karma then there is adi adi means rakshana upatasya rakshana saving what you have already gained yeah so adi prayojana these are the prayojanas of karma arambha so when these three are present any karma gets started gets initiated therefore they are called karma chodana they are not involved in the karma directly they lead to the karma. they initiate the karma therefore they are called karma chodana what really does the karma it is the following three karanam karma and tatta tataha then then means when the karma is initiated 
after that panchabhihi adhisthanaadibhi the five what are they adhisthana etc arabdham accomplished performed vaangmanah kaya shaya bhedena tridha rashi kritam so the karma is accomplished through adhisthana etc which are mentioned earlier these five factors are needed they are the hetus for karma vaangmanah kaya shaya bhedena tridha rashi bhuta and the karmas are categorized into three tridha rashi bhuta they are grouped into three what are they vaangmanah kaya shaya bhedena in accordance with the, the ashaya their locus in the form of vak manaha and kaya speech mind and body based on this the karma is tridha rashi bhutam it is classified into three these karmas trishu karana dishu sangrihyate these karmas are summed up in these three trishu what are they karana etc trishu karana dishu sangrihyate they are summed up in karana etc ityetad uchyate this is being told in the second half let us read karanam priyate anena iti bahyam shotradi antastham buddhyadi karma ipsita tamam kartuhu kriyaya व्याप्यमानं कर्ता करणानां व्यापारयिता उपाधि लक्षणः इति त्रिविधः त्रिप्रकारः कर्मसंग्रहः संग्रह्यते अस्मिन् इति संग्रहः कर्मणः संग्रहः कर्म संग्रहः कर्म एषु हि त्रिषु समवैति तेन अयम् त्रिविधः कर्म संग्रह कर्ण भाष्यकार एक्सप्लेन्स ईच ऑफ देम क्रियते अनेन इति करणम करण इस करण व्युत्पत्ति क्रियते अनेन इति करणो वै करण इस करण व्युत्पत्ति this has to be stated because karana can be bhava vyutpatti also the word karana need not always be karana vyutpatti it can be bhava vyutpatti also and it can be adhikarana vyutpatti also sometimes that is why here bhashyakara clarifies karanam we should take as karana vyutpatti kriyate anena iti karanam that by means of which something is done by means of which something is done is called karana means instrument 
here the instrument refers to bahyendriya bahyam bahyam indriyam bahyendriya what are the shotradi sorry karana means indriya not bahyendriya only so karana is twofold bahya and antara bahya karana or shotra etc the ten bahyendriyas and karana also includes antarindriya antastham buddhyadi antastham the indriya which is present inside buddhi etc buddhi manaha here they are distinguished buddhi manaha so that is karana so karana means indriya then karma karma see the word karma can mean action also but here karma does not mean action karma means object object of an action karma karaka therefore bhashyakara says kartuhu ipsita tamam karma panini sutra karturi ipsita tamam karma that which is a panini this is a paninian definition of karma karma karaka in fact panini has defined all six karakas in paninian sutras the karma karaka is defined as kartuhu ipsita tamam karma meaning that which is most desired to be reached by the doer by the agent of an action through the action is called karma that which is most desired to be reached by the agent karta through his action is called karma let us take the scenario of a yajna a yajna somebody is performing a yajna through yajna what he wants to reach he wants to reach swarga through the yajna let us say then the swarga becomes the karma of his yajna because most desire to be reached through the yajna is swarga therefore swarga becomes the object of yajna means that which is reached by the action it is called karma means object object of action karta means karananam vyaparaita karta is the one who engages the instruments in their respective functions karananam vyaparaita the one who makes 
the karana's function one who drives the karanas is the karta the vyapara happens in the karana when any action takes place there has to be vyapara in the karana karana vyapara the instruments have to function then only an action takes place for example you are cooking you are cooking means your hand has to move up and down it it has to rotate so hand has to move spoon has to move all these are karana vyapara only when there is karana vyapara an action gets it done one who makes the karanas do their work who moves the karanas you are moving the karana you are moving the hand you are moving the spoon so you are the karta according to panini swatantra karta the one who is swatantra independent in an action is called karta and who is the karta upadhi lakshana just like bhokta is upadhi lakshana even karta is upadhi lakshana even karta is avidya kalpita because kevala atma shuddha atma cannot be the karta because shuddha atma does not have any modification without modification he cannot be the karta then can the buddhi antah karana vikam karta it has modification can that become the karta buddhi even that cannot become karta because to make something work there has to be jnana and ichcha jnana and ichcha only they are there then prati is possible jnana janya bhavet ichcha ichcha janya krutir bhavet therefore kevala buddhi it is jada the buddhi is jada therefore even the buddhi cannot be the karta so atma cannot be karta buddhi cannot be karta then what is karta it is the coalition the coalition of atma and the buddhi caused by avidya it is the karta therefore vidyaranya says atraham pratyayi karta one who identifies with the indriyas the sukshma sharira it is karta so here also avidya kalpita we can understand avidya kalpita upadhi lakshana atma is karta iti trividha trividha is equal to triprakara three fold three types karma sangraha sangrihyate asmin iti sangraha sangraha is adhikarana vyutpatti it is adhikarana vyutpatti sangrihyate asmin iti sangraha in which the karma is summed up is called sangraha karmanah sangraha karma sangraha the sangraha of the karma the locus in which 
the karma resides is called karma sangraha why these three are called karma sangraha bhashyakara explains karma eshu hi trishu samavaiti tena ayam trividha karma sangraha he because it is called karma sangraha because eshu trishu in these three karma samavaiti samavaiti means samavaya sambandhena vartate ityartha the karma is present in these three with the samavaya sambandha there are various types of sambandhas relations discussed in the shastra mainly nyaya shastra one sambandha is called sanyoga sambandha sanyoga means contact the contact between two surfaces is called sanyoga sambandha in sanyoga sambandha the two objects can exist independent of each other for example hasta pustaka sanyoga a contact between hand and book here hand can exist independent of book and book can exist independent of hand it is called sanyoga sambandha there is another type of sambandha known as samavaya sambandha samavaya sambandha means among the two objects that are in association one cannot exist without the other one cannot exist without the other for example color and cloth this cloth and its color what is their sambandha it is called samavaya sambandha because the color cannot exist independent of the cloth the nayayika say a guna cannot exist independent of dravya a guna cannot exist independent of a dravya an attribute cannot exist independent of substance such relation is called samavaya sambandha the nayayikas talk about five factors sorry five pairs there are five pairs between which there is samavaya sambandh number 1 dravya and guna substance and attribute their relation is samavaya sambandha number 2 avayava and avayavi parts and whole whole and parts avayava means part avayavi means the whole that which is made of the parts even their sambandha is samavaya sambandha for example the relation between my body and my head without my head my body is gone 
So one cannot exist without the other. So avayava avayavi sammandha is samavaya sammandha. And then third pair is kriya and kriyavan. Action and one who has the action. Kriya and Kriyavan. Action and one who has the action. And fourth pair. Jati and Vyakti. Jati and Vyakti. Individual is a Vyakti and its a generality, class, jati. This is a little technical. So, for example, cow. Cow is an individual, one individual cow. Gotva is a jati, gotva jati, cowness. The cowness cannot exist without cow, individual cow. That is the samavaya sammandha between jati and vyakti. And the fifth one is even more technical. So, I am not going to explain it. I am just mentioning. Vishesha and Nityadravya. Between Vishesha and Nityadravya, there is Samavaya Sambandha. Of course, this is uh, very specific to Nyaya Vaisheshika philosophy. It is not relevant for us now. So, according to them, these five have Samavaya Sambandha. Therefore, between action, kriya, and these factors of action, there is samavaya sambandha. So, in, with the samavaya sambandha, the action resides in these three. What are they? Karta, karana, and karana. So, Eshu Trishu, in these three, Karma Samavaiti, Karma is there in Samavaya Sambandha. Generally, while translating into English, for Samavaya, they use the word inherits. Therefore, your translation might be in in these three. If you read the translation, it won't make much sense. But this is what uh, it means. Karma in in these three. Tena ayam trividhaha karma sangraha. Therefore, these three are called karma sangraha. So, this implies that the Atma is free from karma. There is no karma in the Atma. There is no sambandha of the Shuddha Atma with the karma. Shloka 19 Jnanam karma cha karta cha Tridhaiva guna bheda taha Prochyate guna sankhyane 
Now, Bhagavan enters into another discussion. Once again, three gunas are brought. Sattva, Rajas and Tamas. We have seen the three gunas earlier. Sattva, Rajas and Tamas. Certain things were classified into Sattva, Rajas and Tamas. Shraddha, etc. Yajnadana Tapaha in chapter 17. Now, even Jnana, Karma and Karta, these three are also three types. It is being told. See, Jnanam Karma Cha Karta Cha Jnana refers to Vritti Jnana, Jnayate Adena Iti Jnana, and Karma. Here Karma does not mean object. Here Karma means action, Kriya. And Karta, even the Karta, Gunabhedataha on account of difference in guna, sattva, etc. Tridha eva, they are three types. Each one is three types. Jnana is three types. Karma is three types. Karta is three types. Where is it told? Yat guna sankhyane prochyate. It is told in guna sankhyana. Guna sankhyana refers to sankhya shastra. Gunaha samyat vyakhyayante. Sorry, khyayante. Asmin iti guna sankhyanam. Gunaha samyat khyayante asmin iti guna sankhyanam. The shastra in which the gunas are clearly stated is called guna sankhyan. It refers to kapila shastra. The Shastra founded by Kapila Muni. Kapila Muni is the founder of Sankhya Shastra, Sankhya philosophy. In Sankhya, they discuss a lot of three gunas. The gunas are elaborately discussed. Three gunas are elaborately discussed in Sankhya philosophy. In fact, the three gunas are not originally there in the Upanishad. They are not there in the Upanishad. Upanishad does not talk about Sattva, Rajas and Tamas. Then who talks about the three gunas? Kapila. He is the founder of this model of three gunas. He found how we can explain everything in terms of Sattva, Rajas and Tamas. This model was introduced by Kapila Muti and he has used it in his Sankhya Shastra. Now Krishna borrows it from Kapila Muti. Guna Sankhyane Prochet. Tani api yathavat shano, tani api, even them, even the three types of jnana, etc. Yathavat shano, 
प्लीज लिसन श्रुणु यथावत एस इट इज टोल्ड इन द शास्त्र इन अकॉर्डेंस विद द शास्त्र भाष्य अथ इदानीम क्रियाकारक फलानाम सर्वेशाम गुणात्मकत्वात सत्वरजस्तमो गुणभेदता त्रिविधः भेदः वक्तव्यः इति आरभ्यते ज्ञानं कर्म च इति अथ इदानीम नाउ अथ इंडिकेट्स आनंतर्य ए चेंज ऑफ टॉपिक इदानीम नाउ क्रियाकारक फलानाम सर्वेशा ऑल क्रिया कारक एंड फला क्रिया मींस कर्म कारक द फैक्टर्स ऑफ एक्शन एंड आल्सो रिजल्ट ऑफ एक्शन ऑल दीस थ्री सर्वेशाम गुणात्मकत्वा ऑल ऑफ देम आर मेड ऑफ गुणास ओनली गुणात्मकत्वा दे आर मेड ऑफ गुणास ओनली सत्व रजस तमस ऑल क्रियास ऑल कारक ऑल फला एंटायर द्वैत प्रपंच इज अ प्रोडक्ट ऑफ द थ्री गुणास बिकॉज़ प्रकृति इज त्रिगुणात्मिका माया इज त्रिगुणात्मिका देयरफॉर ऑल द इफेक्ट्स ऑफ माया are also made of three gunas therefore kriya karaka phala everything is made of three gunas therefore each one can be classified into three sattva rajas tamo guna bhedatah based on the difference in these three gunas sattva rajas and tamas meaning some are sattva predominant some are rajas predominant some are tamas predominant trividho bhedah vaktavya three varieties have to be told iti arabhyate with this intention आरभ्यते द फॉलोइंग श्लोक इज स्टार्टेड द फॉलोइंग सेक्शन इज स्टार्टेड दिस इज अनदर प्रकरण वेयर द थ्री गुणास बेस्ड ऑन गुणा दीस आर क्लासिफाइड इनटू थ्री ज्ञानम कर्म च कर्म क्रिया नकारकारिभाषिकारण गुण व्यतिरिक्त जातीभेदेनमच ज्ञान यू नो वाट इज ज्ञान ऑलरेडी टोल कर्मच हियर द वर्ड कर्म शुड बी अंडरस्टूड प्रॉपरली बिकॉज प्रीवियस्ली इन द प्रीवियस श्लोक भगवान एक्सप्लेन कर्म एस 
कर्तुरीक्षिततमं कर्म ऑब्जेक्ट बट हियर कर्म डस नॉट मीन ऑब्जेक्ट कर्म मीन्स क्रिया एक्शन न कारक कर्म इज नॉट कारक we should not take the karaka karaka means the factor of action there are six factors of action six karakas among the six karakas one is karma object so that karma it is paribhashika that usage of karma is paribhashika it is technical it is a technical usage which is defined by panini as ipsita tamam karma kartu ipsita tamam karma that karma should not be taken we should take karma to mean kriya karta cha nivartakah kriyana karta means one who performs the actions kriyana nirvartaka the performer of actions tridha eva three only three types only iti avadharana eva is avadharana avadharana means an ascertainment with the exclusion of others an ascertainment with the exclusion of other possibility is called avadharan only this much this only it is avadharan so eva has the meaning of avadharan tridha eva इति अवधारणम् व्हाट इज द यूज ऑफ अवधारणम हियर त्रिधा एव एव इंप्लाइज दैट देयर इज नथिंग मोर देन दीस थ्री समबडी माइट थिंक देयर आर थ्री टाइप्स सात्विक राजस तामस देन इज देयर एनीथिंग अदर देन दीस थ्री which is neither sattva nor rajas nor tamas it is not there if it is jnana or if it is karta or if it is karma it has to be within these three sattvika rajasa and tamas there is nothing called any jnana which does not have a three guna which is gunatita or any karma which is gunatita it is not there that is why this avadharana is there guna vyatirikta other than the three gunas free from these three gunas jatyantara another category abhava pradarshanartha so the avadharana is meant for showing that there is no such jati there is no such category of these three which is free from three gunas so guna vyatirikta jatyantara another category which is free from gunas abhava its absence is shown by putting an eva guna bhedatah is equal to sattvaadi bhedena on account of the difference in sattva etc ityarthah on account of the difference in the gradation of sattva etc difference in the proportion of sattva etc they are classified into three so sattvika karma 
means sattva is predominant. It is not that it is purely sattva. Purely sattva is not possible. Because if it has to be karma, there has to be rajas. Without rajas, karma is not possible. Therefore, sattva is predominant. Rajas is a lesser and tamas is even lesser. Then it is called sattvika. Likewise, the other two also. Om Pur Namadaf Pur Namidam Pur Nat Pur Namu Gachate Pur Nasya Pur Namadaya Pur Nameva Vashashate Om Shanti Shanti Shanti